Howdy. All the media outlets, including ABC, NBC, MSNBC, Fox, and CNN, have reported that Donald Trump has won the Iowa Republican caucuses. This means that for Iowa, Donald Trump is the Republican nominee for President of the United States. But there remain some questions. Did all those Iowans not see, hear, or read the news and learn that Donald Trump is an alleged insurrectionist, at least according to Colorado and Maine? Are those same facts consumed in Colorado and Maine not available in Iowa? It must be irritating that Iowa is giving aid and comfort to an individual determined to be a dictator and to destroy democracy and the rule of law. Surely, these circumstances place burden and duty on the decision of the U.S. Supreme Court as they have agreed to review appeal from Colorado concerning Donald Trump's ballot access. But to be clear, the only constitutional decision the Supreme Court could install is to educate on the role and responsibility and obligations of the U.S. Congress concerning presidential activity. It is not authorized or constitutional for the Supreme Court to make presidential decisions without congressional approval. Stated differently, the United States Supreme Court cannot tell the president what to do without congressional action. The problem with Colorado and Maine is they flagrantly deploy a federal question already resolved in Congress with an acquittal. Colorado and Maine insist on wasting tax dollars to satisfy individual political desires, a so-called weaponization of the law. And the truth of the matter is, Donald Trump's actions are not that of someone who desires harm to America. Campaigning all over the country, openly talking to large crowds of people seeking their support, is not the action of some secret conspiracy to overthrow the government. At the same time, he is appearing in front of judges, delivering arguments concerning his life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. I would argue he is currently the most American person in America. And lastly, if you've made it this far, thanks for listening, and please leave a comment down below.